What's up, nerds? This is Scott from the Nerds with Attitude podcast. Going to give you a quick tour of my toy room. Very quick because I don't have much time and it would take forever to go through it all anyway. So without further ado, let's check it out. Open up the door. We're going to go in. I'm going to try my best not to move too fast because I don't want anybody puking on my watch. So this is it. The toy room. It's massive. Well, it's not a massive toy room. It's just a lot of crap squeezed into a very small space. Uh, so, start really quick with the closet. And above the closet up here, I've got peg hooked some 6-inch Black Series Star Wars figures. Some 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series figures, as well as the old Vintage Collection Star Wars uh, all boxed up up there. I really like to collect things and leave them in their packages, not for monetary value, because... Honestly, I mean, the G.I. Joe stuff I collect, I keep carded. It doesn't really elevate in value anyway. I'm a graphic designer by trade, so I really like package design. So that's why I do it. Anyway, in here, in... Let's tap that right there. Just focus. We've got some Batman animated series figures. Got some Star Wars stuff here. The Disney, the Disney figures. Uh, we've got my vintage and masterpiece collection of Transformers. Up there, we've got some of my micro collection Star Wars. Can't really see it because it's kind of dark. Let's kind of move in here and see if we can get some better lighting. We've got micro collection. We've got my vintage Empire Strikes Back Millennium Falcon up there. Uh, move down, 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 down. We've got some pops. Who doesn't like some pops? And then over here, let me switch hands really quick. I've got my Vintage Mask Collection. It is a complete domestic mask collection. I don't collect any of the international stuff because, honestly, there's so much international mask stuff it's kind of hard to keep up with. Then over here, we've got a uh, Fortress Brave Maxim whatever Maximus right there. We've got a Metroplex. We've got a V figure right over there. That's pretty cool. I actually got that from one of the extras that was in V. I uh, got a really big TIE fighter down here. This thing is massive. Uh, I still don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it eventually. Got the big Millennium Falcon. Some vintage Star Wars figures. I do have a complete collection of vintage Star Wars figures. More box packages of uh, the vintage Star Wars Hoth sets. Empire Strikes Back. Star Destroyer playset. X-Wings. TIE fighters galore. Shuttle Tidarium's Death Star play sets. More modern stuff. I've got some of my uh, Force Awakens toys up there. I love the I love that freaking movie. I can watch it over and over and over again. But the meat of my collection, the centerpiece of it all, is this massive thing: the USS Flag, which is currently covered in a bunch of jets and vintage figures. I've got my whale. Got some figures on here. I do have a oop, some figures I need to fix because there was a slaughter. Uh, I do have an almost complete collection of G.I. Joe figures. I am missing one G.I. Joe figure for my 90 or 82 to 94 collection. Got my tomahawk up there. Got some original artwork on the wall. Over there I got my Cobra Commander collection. You can't really see it because tomahawk's in the way. Um, more stuff. More stuff going down, more stuff underneath the flag. And really tough to see, we've got a G.I. Joe headquarters. Uh, I've got some of the Action Force figures over there. Kind of really dark to see that. Uh, I got my dreadnoughts and stuff down here. You can only tell because bright orange road pig is in the way. Moving over here, we've got the Defiant. Let me back up a little bit, do the foot shuffle. And we've got a whole bunch of Cobra and Iron Grenadier stuff on this display here. And then I got the uh, Narnia Castle, which serves as my silent castle, because everybody needs a silent castle. More Iron Grenadier stuff, snow stuff, weird stuff down here. And then we're going to back up a little bit here. Go back underneath the USS flag, and there is my terror drone down there. Guns pointed inward, because if they weren't pointed inward, I would run into it and knock everything over. 
back up to the flag over here and we're gonna go back down here to this side got my tactical battle platform down here got the big adat walker ass right there got my 83 gi joe headquarters down there i don't know if i'm pointing the phone in the right direction but that's it that's my toy room i apologize if the video was bumpy uh, anyway, keep it nerdy. Bye.